you guys have all heard of you know how Meta was trying to sell real estate. Mm. Meta? You talking about Facebook? Yeah, weren't they trying to sell real estate on the in the Meta world, the Metaverse? Oh yeah, like on Sandbox, and uh, you're talking about virtual virtual yeah. land. Okay, yeah. okay, I got you. Well, now. Uh, there's a pastor, I guess, uh, in Mexico trying to sell land in heaven. Oh, wow. You know, I I remember people trying to partition. There's a map of the moon, and people were trying to own land on the moon before America and everybody else got on the moon so they could claim it as theirs, and they're trying to do it on Mars. I never thought, I guess you could just, it's all meta- physical so i guess you could just start claiming land in heaven <laughs> yeah well okay so this guy this pastor has seniority because god actually gave him permission mm, i see according to its facebook page the church of the end of times is selling plots of land in heaven to its followers claiming to church be the, the only true times. church they offer the land at the low price of a hundred dollar per square meter Allowing you to own your own slice of literal paradise. They, of course, accept American Express, MasterCard, or Apple Pay, or Google Pay. Would you spend $100 for a plot of land in heaven? According to RelevantMagazine.com, um, this is them talking to it, about it. Um, eternal real estate. So you got some angels over here. This is probably AI generated. Some angels. <laughs> Um, yeah, you got the sun, which is apparently in the dome, uh, or maybe it's, maybe heaven's higher than the sun. I don't know. So this is the problem with this. We can't really fact check this because it's all in Spanish on Facebook. So unless you're fluent in Spanish or want to trust a, tra a Google translator bot, um, you don't really know what's going on, but this is what everybody's saying. There's many videos showing up talking about this. So, um, it's up to you whether you want to believe any of this or not. Like if this church is actually doing this or not. Um, yeah, it says uh, the church is offering uh, a simple price of $100 per square meter. Um, of course, they received permission from God. I mean, that's okay. expensive. Yeah. Well, you if you're going to do something like this, you have to get permission from the man upstairs. Well, the other question I have is, well, I guess it's because he's like an intermediary. I was thinking about the currency. So God accepts U.S. dollars and MasterCard, but no, it's this guy. And then he want, trans. He's like an embassy. I see. He's yeah. like a, he's a he, he's a he's a currency exchanger. Yeah, I yeah. got you. Yeah, um, yeah. So God is going through him. God has hired this pastor as his real estate agent. Gotcha. God's looking to sell some of his property, and uh, yeah. So, um. Picture of the offer had been circulating on social media, showing a brochure with an elaborate depiction of a holy house in the clouds. The illustration features a family ascending a golden staircase, their new celestial home. Um, let's see, it says the brochure also clarifies that the church accepts various payment options, including PayPal, Google Pay, Visa, MasterCard, and American Express. Um, so, uh, trying to find some more stuff about this, there was one person saying this was a satire but i only found one person saying this is a satire so i don't know if it's actually a satire or not and i don't know what to believe anymore i mean is there a god and is there heaven are these angels real or is god just ai generated well if people want to believe <laughs> this guy's version then you know whatever he's saying you have to accept but you know each people are available to believe whatever they want when it comes to that but if you're convinced of this guy's truth this guy's inception this guy's toilet matrix well then yeah you guys need to start paying up because not only do you have to believe in his version of heavenly salvic entry there's an additional cost of hundred dollars square meter and of course everybody wants more than one square meter we need at least two uh, we would like to have at least two square meters. One person that attended the church actually said, you know, it felt kind of cold. It felt kind of culty, dot, dot, dot. But the coffee was good. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so, I mean, that's that's how they do it. It's coffee. I see. And drink that Kool-Aid. So, if anybody's in Mexico, check out this church and uh, tell us in the comments if it's legitimate or if this is just a satire. Just 
ask the pastor or see if he has one of these brochures still. Now, even if this was a quote unquote satire, um, it would be interesting what the pastor would do if somebody actually started, you know, giving visas and uh, money. Would he still say it's satire at that point? Or would he just run with the gimmick? Maybe it was satire at the beginning, but now it's real. Or maybe it was real in the beginning, but now it's satire because everybody started making fun of it. Who knows? Uh, we want some more information from some ground people if we can get some of those.